Hey, man, you guys hear him knocking? Hey, you guys ever hear a pan? Man, I've been paying you when I can, every damn week. You think we're some kind of fucking department store? I mean, you bet a horse, he wins, we pay. He loses, you pay. You lost, Sambo. Now pay it up. Man, you told me that I had time. You gave me time. Sure I did. But then you started going down the liquor store laying bets with Moss. And he's been losing there. Now just who in the hell do you think covers Moss? Huh? Me. I cover Moss. Well, now that you can't watch TV anymore, maybe you'll get off your ass and hustle up some cash. What do you mean I can't watch TV? Next week, Papa. I'll expect a full bundle. Next week. Be seeing you. No one's going to respect you if you do not respect yourself. No one's going to help you. You have got to get it together by yourselves, for yourselves. Martin Luther King had a dream, and it was blasted into eternity with him. The People's Army was established through a grant given by the white community, blacks helping blacks with white money. Now you have turned your backs on your own police force. Dope pushers are feeding junk to your kids, and you sit back doing nothing. Gambling operations are forced upon black store owners, and you say nothing. If we are to be considered as equals, if we are ever, to receive our true place in this community, we must band together now! General Ahmed. How's he doing, Doc? Unstable. I wish we could do more, but we just don't have the equipment or the drugs. The money. Yeah, we'll get the money. In a few hours, it won't make any difference to him. He's taken an overdose, and we are unable to test his blood. It's cripples helping cripples. OK. Get him to Martin Luther King Hospital. That's wonderful. We preach no one will help us until we help ourselves, and now we're still on our belly. I want to discuss the problem. Not a time or place. Whatever's right. You keep pushing and you need Martin Luther emergency. I wonder if someday this whole damn town will need emergency. I dig what you're doing, baby. The only problem is, is they're still taking more than they're given. I'll see you tomorrow, Doc. How about taking 10 milligrams of Valium and have a good night's sleep? Don't need a crutch. Hanging it up. We're gonna do just fine.
knew that black bastard had come up with it. Uh-huh. Hey, Vito, look All at that. All right, come on. Hey, where you going, nerd? You feeling lonely? <laughs> How about getting laid? Looking for a little extra bread, what's that? Hey, Vito, you ain't getting through. Well, look, honey, all you gotta do is talk deal, right, baby? How about five bucks for a blowjob? <laughs> okay. But ten bucks is tap for head. I never go more than ten bucks for black head. <laughs> black head. Sounds like some kind of pimple. <laughs> now, look here, honey, I know you've got a price. And I know I've got the tear up in my pocket right now. So why don't you just slow up for a minute, honey? Okay. I suppose you're a real class kid. Shaken up. When? 5.30 this evening. She was walking home from a detoxification unit. What about the young brother? A ruptured spleen. He'll live. They messed up the job. He'll live. Now, do you have time for me now, General? Sit down. Sit down. What do you propose? A security force. 20 men. I'll train them myself. Now, if we can't stop the gangsters from working here, we can at least protect our people from their brutality. Protecting is one thing, but an all-out war is something else. Oh, come on now. Oh, I know you, Koja. You'd have this whole town into a furnace. Controlling the syndicate is a job of the LAPD. And where were the cops when the sister was assaulted and the young brother almost beaten to death? Now, you can't take the law into your own hands. Your woman. Marsha was once your woman. Doesn't that make a difference to you? For protection, goddammit! I only want them for protection! And you got something against taking care of your people. Six men. You can have six men. The mission will be only to protect. They must never attack. Now you give me your word on that, Colonel. You have it. Horses, 12,065. Yeah, some dude uh, hit his heavy on a long shot. Well, you win a few, you lose a few. Anybody holding out? A couple old guys ran short. We're leaning on them. Lean heavier. 
Hard stuff, 32-5. The guys are hustling real good, Vince. No problems on the street whatsoever. Well, at least blacks like smack. <laughs> <laughs> How's the numbers doing? 4,200. What in the hell is wrong with you guys, anyway? Oh, they ain't holding back. We're just not pushing the betters hard enough, Vince. Okay, fine. So here's what we do. We set a quota for each store. They don't book enough bets, they make up the difference themselves. Got it? You got it, Vince. Four is 19,650. What the fuck is with you, Bob? You want to try unemployment? Wait a minute, I think we've got a hold back here. Linda Casey, white chick. Uh, the figures, the first week of July, 900. Second week, 1250. Third week, 1100. Fourth week, 1525. <laughs> she, she sucked her little brains out, huh? <laughs> the week before last, 700. And this week, only 500. Who's her pimp? Uh, see if you guys can read my lips. Who is her pimp? Willie Marsh. Anybody know him? Yeah. I know. Okay, Vito. I'll tell you what. Tomorrow, when you and Ernie go back to town, check out the whore first. Then you find her spook. Turn him upside down and uh, see what falls out of his pockets, right? that nurse again. Pretty nigger, isn't she? They all look alike to me. What do you have, gentlemen? Double screwdriver. Uh, I dub you Harper and the Rocks. Make mine a double, too, will you? Uh, you see Willie Marsh around? Mm-mm. Say please, ma'am. Please. I want you to join me. We've been through this bullshit before. Don't drag on my ass, ma'am. I want six good men. Maybe there'll be more. You're still dragging. off to something. Hmm? That jab ass nigga you work for, he gonna turn you loose? I have money to start a security force. Our force. You get others standing by. When I'm ready, I'll let you know. We'll make our move. It'll be our way, deal me. Our way. Just like we planned. There's more shit out there to cut up than you have ever dreamed of. I'll wait, my man. In two weeks or less. 
All right. Let's get it on. We can come back to that pimp later. I'm gonna get me some of that. Hey, blood. Got a match? <laughs> Hoping to get a celebrity to tell you about kidney disease. All I want to know is who. Does it make any difference? It makes a difference to me, woman. Who? You can't stop them. Well, baby, they're gonna know we gave them a try. Well, I hope you're right. Because I'm sure sorry for us if you're wrong. Who? Vito.
panic, man. This will only take a second. No. No. See the numbers, pal. Twenty-eight fifty. Okay, twenty-eight fifty. Your quote is thirty-five. You owe us uh, five fifty. Six fifty. What? My quota is thirty-five. Twenty-eight fifty from thirty-five is six fifty. Okay, six fifty. I don't have it. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm tapped, broke, short of funds, hard up, impoverished, stripped, beat. Besides, I don't have six fifty to spare for shit like you. What the fuck are you talking about, donkey? Hey, you guys here to buy a set or rent one? Shot one of my soldiers. You see, we got a new deal now. You shoot one of my soldiers, and I shoot one of your gorillas. Now you get him out of here. He's bleeding all over my friend's floor. From now on, we'll be taking the gambling money. You don't have to worry about them anymore. Everything gonna be just fine. Mean. Give me the cash. I don't have any money. You're going to be wearing your nose behind me. garbage off the street on the way out.
What the hell hit you guys? It was that jackass Black Army group. We were gonna pound a few heads like you said, and they jumped us. We never even made our rounds. Lou took Eddie to the hospital. They broke his fucking finger. Jack's all right. Oh, yeah. He looks just great. Where's Willie? He got shot. I had to leave him at Doc Myers. What do you mean, shot? <sighs> Coldest goddamn thing I ever saw. This big buck nigger turns and fires. Got him in the belly. Doc Myers said he may not make it. Well, lay it on me. I threw Phil out the window. Broke his fucking neck. I had to leave him there. What the hell is happening here anyway? They're stacking up on us, Ernie. Maybe we ought to cool it for a while. Bullshit! Now, we're going to go back in town right now and get our money. No bunch of niggers are going to push me around. Afternoon, black gentlemen. I is here for our collection. Easy, white boy. Back off now. You don't want to get too close to that man's razor. He likes to get cut up. Joe, you take the rest of the fellas and uh, go on out and make your pickups. Keep your guns handy. OK, Ernie. Now. Let's have it. Now, you, uh, you spread the word, boy. I'll chop ten of yours down for every one of mine. Spread the word. Trouble, Joe? Like a turkey shoot. Must they got my message. You're the last one in. I reckon I'll uh, head on over the hill. See you night. Right. Shoot the white ass off. You got it. It's a deal. 
Wouldn't shoot your white ass off. Come on, you fucking bastards! I gave you the pen! Come let me out of here! Stop it! God damn it! Stop it! This fucking thing's gonna. Okay, hockey. You can come out now. Is that what you assholes are telling me? A bunch of niggers is driving me out of town? Is that it? Huh? Is that what you're telling me, a bunch of niggers? They leaned on us real hard, Vince. Oh, now that's a real fucking shame, isn't it? Fine. Now, you all heard me say no rough stuff, right? No hard stuff. Huh? Right. Yeah. Huh? Right. So who threw the bomb in the restaurant? I mean, that is really wonderful. Worry about it. What the hell? Huh? So we blow a million dollar operation. I mean, there's always something else, right? More money, more deals, right? I mean, so they kill me. So they blow my brains out. I mean, like the man said, you gotta die sometime, right? Tell you what, you son of a bitch. If I have to go, I will see to it that you go first. Okay, fine. Okay. Here's what we do. We gotta cut out of town for a while. Until things cool down. You guys go home, cool it, and I'll call you when things get set up. All right? Yeah, right sure. Blow! Joe. I just don't want you to feel that I don't like you. See, it's just that I think you're the dumbest fuck in the world. Thanks, man. You're welcome, Joe. Maybe I could still get Harlem. <laughs> Tennis court in the rear, swimming pool in the front. Guest house with enough room to bunk 40 troopers. Main house, 
12 to 15 officers. If we build petitions. Looks good. Very good. Tell me, you have just become a major. <laughs> we'll set up our training area at the tennis court. How many men are scheduled for the first training cycle? We'll have 95 by Friday. Excellent. Set up the tennis court for classroom instruction and basic karate. That area should also work well for close order drills and serve as our parade ground. We'll break the first cycle into three platoons. I'll have our basic training procedures scheduled within a few days. Right. Any preference on the platoon commanders? You handle that, Major. The main house and the pool area will serve as our BOQ and officers club. I want our men treated well, Major. Officers and enlisted men alike. Look good. You really look good. Yourself. How'd it go? Broads are good. Grass is cool. Got a few complaints that the horse was cut too much. <laughs> <laughs> but I told him it'd be cleaner next week. Numbers and cards are low, though. I don't think the store owners are pushing. Now, that's easy. From now on, give each shop a minimum. If they don't sell enough, they'll just have to make up the difference themselves. <laughs> right. <laughs> train our troops until we have a combat force that no one can stop. I want to change our uniform. I want it to be something distinctive. And we will also change our white man names into Swahili. I will be Kongati, which means leader. You will be my warrior, Askari Odari. When one of our men walks down the street, the people will know who we are. We will establish security around our headquarters that will be impossible to penetrate. I want to set up two more hidden locations exactly like this one. Emergency food rations will be maintained there at all times. Work them hard. Push them to the very end of their endurance. I want my army to be ready for anything and everything that comes its way. No one will stop us. No one. Whether they live or die is not the question. Whether they win or succeed is the only answer. My warriors, you have done well. Trained hard, and I'm proud of you. And soon, I promise you, we will be strong enough. And when that time comes, we will expand. We will move from the ghetto where we have been sentenced. White community will feel our power. And they will pay dearly to hold us back. We'll descend upon them with strength, and they will feel our vengeance! 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 Sign this requisition.
You look tired. Don't tell me you're seeing big black circles under my eyes. What time are you getting off? Don't tell me you're going to walk me home because it isn't safe out there. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Forget it. What makes you think you can walk in here and do this to me? I haven't been alone with you for over three weeks. Two nights of the night. Hello? Hello, Marsha. Uh, this is Dr. Lynn. Some kids have thrown a bomb through our window. No one has been seriously hurt. For God's sake, why? Well, word's out that there's a new group formed in town that plans to fight the People's Army. I just never thought they'd hit us here. Fight us? What for? We got rid of the syndicate. Baby, your head's been in a bag. This city's worse off now than it was before the Army took over. Now the army's running more prostitution through here, drugging our people more than ever. Why, the army puts it in them, and the army pays us to push it out. The people's army is running everything. All right, doctor. I'll get down there right away. General. Who's with you, Marsha? You schizoid? Yeah, that's it. I'm schizoid. Okay. You got it. Must have been snoring too loud, huh? You stop being funny on the day you started dealing dope. What the hell are you talking about? Who bombed the clinic? Some people who got fed up to hear what the lies you've been feeding them. I swear to God, Mom, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, do you? <sighs> well, that makes you just about as dumb as me. Maybe so. Well, it would appear, General, as if your men are pushing more drugs than we ever had before. And tonight, tonight some soul brothers finally got fed up and started to fight back. No, I didn't know, but I intend to find out. General Ahmed, General Ahmed, would you care to comment, please, on reports that your people's army is involved in a blood war in Watts? Well, I have no idea who was involved in the shootings that took place. However, my staff and I are presently conducting a thorough investigation. And should any of my people be involved, they will immediately be turned over to the proper authorities. Uh, General, we understand that because of charges that you and your people's army are involved in a black-white war, that the state of California has suspended its grant to you. Is that true? Well, our grant has been temporarily suspended, pending further investigation. And isn't it also true, General, that, be, that the governor himself has been charged with financing a race war in Watts, and that's his reason for withdrawing his support? Neither the governor nor I know who was involved. I agree with his decision to withhold financing. The problem will be solved. Now, gentlemen, if you will excuse me. Uh, General, one more question, please, one more. Now, we understand that $10,000 a week has been channeled through your organization ostensibly to help the people of Watts. Now, please answer this question truthfully. If any of that money had been diverted to start a race war in Watts, wouldn't you be the first one to know it? All I know is that $10,000 a week to help the people of Watts is not enough. But, General... All right, fellas. That's a wrap.
just went left on Central. On to 3rd. Moving north. I'm on him. This is Control. Clear. monkey in the tree. You want to open the gates or do I ram my way through? I'm General Ahmed and I want to see Koja. Now. Officer of the day, this is Post One. Officer of the day, Post One. What do you got, One? General Ahmed is at the front gate to see General Kangazi. Please advise. Let him through. Pass him on, one. You'll have to submit to a search, General. Do I have a choice? Turn around and spread them. Put them up. General Kiangozi will see you now. at home. This is my chief of staff, Colonel Iskari Hodari. Would you like a drink? General Kingazi. Colonel Askari Hodari. Hodari. Seems to be some promotions and different names I haven't heard about. Seems to be a lot of changes I haven't heard about. Glad to meet you, General. I have long been an admirer of yours. Let me hear it from your lips. Have you been running dope and prostitution in our city? What I do from this point on is of no concern of yours. And will you deny that you are a liar? For your new name, you should have chosen Nyoka, Snake. General, you are in my camp. This is now my army, and we're at war. Now, I suggest you Conduct yourself in a manner befitting your situation. You jive ass nigger. You've been shit from the very beginning. All right. Now you listen to me. I don't want to waste you only because I feel sorry for you. You and every other do good are like you. Where you're wrong and where you've always been wrong is that you fight with weakness and begging. We are fighting with strength. We will win. I will give you enough money for your food and your clinics, nothing more. You go feed the poor, General. That's what you're good at. And you feel sorry for me. Why, you arrogant son of a bitch. Now, you keep your money. I don't deal in dirty money. I'll find another way to feed the poor. May I be excused? Stay out of our way, Ahmed.
He is trouble. I doubt it. It'll take him months to recruit enough new people to hassle us. Baby, we can handle any fucking thing that comes our way. There's an additional water boots. There's an additional third at the same spot. You've got to be kidding, man. I've still got a stash left from last week. Then you better get it together, man. Man, the heat is on. You're getting big money or a big job. Nobody's getting 10% of this street but you. Listen, man, one more bus for me, and that means 10% of the rest of my life. I've got to have more time. So? What do you mean, so, man? We made a deal. You keep it. Move the contents of that bag like we agreed. Man, give me a break. I make a bad report on you, brother. And you wish you were in the slammer. Get your shit, brother. You got work to do. Sorry, General. You've just committed suicide. Get out. Start walking. around and see it coming? Or do you want to get it in the back? If the bullet didn't get in, the fall sure in hell did. 
Let's get out of here before someone reports the shots. Now, what do you think this is, Mama? A legal holiday? I've been sick. I haven't felt good. They cut my ration. Well, now, you know the rules. You get what you pay for. And you've got an expensive attitude. good men here. They've been working real hard. They could use a uh, little relaxation. All right. You are the second company to graduate from this academy. What you have worked hard for, what you have learned, will soon serve as a lesson to any who might attempt to stop us from achieving our goals. To those who might step in our way, we declare vengeance! 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 Hey, you fellas, I'm doing the best I can. I mean, you guys are draining me blind. If this goes on, I gotta close the fucking place up. Down. I've been patient, and you've been jiving. I ain't got time for bullshit, you understand? And you spread the word. I'm through with jiving around.
Here's over four hundred dollars and a list of supplies that I need. I want them back here in about four or five days. No questions, please, Eddie. You got it. You leaving? Yes. Take me with you. No. What I have to do, I have to do alone. Yeah. I guess you can run faster without me than with me. All right, all right. Here's a piece of pig for everybody. <laughs>